Well, welcome everyone. So, um, today I will be making a box for this. We all know this uh, tissue. So, uh, this is actually what I will be making, but a different color. Something like this, what we're making for this. You know, you can, the, the, it has a... Um, pvc that covers it to protect to protect it from dust okay so this open it and then just pick one out whenever you want to use and it's easy to refill okay just open it's not that once you are done using you throw it away no anytime you buy this just refill it you know this the all this nylon thing in places where you want to in a very silent place you know so that's why I recommend for you to use this just open and then you feel it just drop it inside to feel it removing it from the uh, nylon pack so let's get started so now for this I to make this box I will be needing a cardstock that measures seven and two eight by four by seven and four eight rather so this is what i'll be using this is double sided i want to i want this orange part to be the outside and then this to be the inside so i've already cut it out so seven and two eight by seven and four eight so on the seven and two eight side i'm going to score at one inch i'll score at one inch two inches and six and two eighths and then i will rotate this on the seven and four eight side i will score at two and two eighths three and two eighths five and four eighths and six and four eighths okay so we have uh three smaller segments and two big segments okay so that's all for this course so i'll set this aside and then we'll continue now let me set this aside as well okay so the next thing that uh i'm going to do is to do my cutting i like to turn my cast up the other way so that i can see the fold lines and then be able to cut but before cutting let's let's um fold and crease so I'll fold and crease on all the all the score lines okay so i hope you can hear me clearly Okay, I really hope so. I hope you can hear me clearly. Okay. Alright, so. Okay. Alright, so I'm done folding on all the fold lines. So now I will turn this out. So now you can see the fold lines are now more visible. Okay, they are more visible. So now this is the base and this is the top. Now for the base part, on this section that has two smaller sections, this part, this one, is one that's going to hold the box in place, okay? So we're going to be removing this small box here and these two completely. I will be using, as you all know, my paper cutter and my metal ruler including the fold lines if you know me on my work you know that's how i do my work including the fold lines now the reason i remove the fold line is normally i'm supposed to use scissors to cut triangular cut here so that when i fold this in it will it, it, when folding this over it will not uh, disturb it but as it is as I cut it, this section just fits, it will fit right inside. 
beside the fold lines okay so that's why i move the small line so now let me continue by removing this uh other section which includes the fold lines okay there now before i continue cutting i'll be bringing my pencil and my ruler on the inside part or better let me let me use the outside part because so that the pencil you see the pencil lines and you understand what i'm doing so now i will measure from this i'm working with this box here okay this is how uh, our box will be okay so this is the front part and this is the back so for this front part this is what i'll be working with okay just this box like this is what i'm working with okay so i will measure it from top to bottom is four and two eighths of an inch okay so now that four and two eighths of an inch i will mark one inch up and down so here one inch and then one inch from four and two eight is three and two eight and they repeat the same thing up here one inch and three and two eighths okay so now i'm going to line it up and to draw a faint pencil line to join those two marks like so I don't know if you can see the pencil mark. I don't know if you can see it, but okay, yeah, you can see it, right? Okay, so now that's for this side. Now I'll turn it like this, and then from here to here is two and two eighths. Now for this, I'm going to be making the sides. I'll the space I'll give the sides will be half an inch. Okay, as you can see here half an inch here half an inch here okay and then one inch here one inch here okay so placing my ruler i'll mark half an inch let me mark it on the pencil line that i made here okay it's better so i won't have to start doing lots of cleaning so half an inch here and then on this side i will mark one and six eighths of an inch and then come up to the second line and repeat the same thing half an inch one and six eighths okay now what i'll do is i'll just place my ruler and then cut from this point from this point to this point and from this point to this point I'm trying to line my ruler to make sure it is straight okay okay and then on the second side as well Okay, I didn't get that. I didn't want to cut more than the line. Okay, so I'll just cut it like that. Now I will not finish up by cutting here and here to remove this complete thing. This point to this point. Okay. Now another thing that I I can do is I'll just cut like that turn it back and then also on top of the pencil mark then i cannot bring my ruler line it up so cutting it to be easy i will not pass the line that's it okay so now of course we don't want this pencil mark to be here so we have to clean it okay That's why I use pencil because if you use pen, the mark will be there permanent. 
and that is definitely not what we want that's why i used pencil okay so all the marks are cleaned and i'm good to go all right so now let's continue the cutting okay now as i said this is the lower part so what i'm going to do is i'm going to remove these fold lines one two three okay i will do that off camera then i'll get back to you so as to save time okay so here it is i've removed the three fold lines you can see the space right you can see it's just tiny so now let's work on the top part now this is the top part okay let me uh fold it how it's going to be this is how the box is going to be okay and then these ones will fold in like that okay now next thing i'm going to do is to cut these two bigger pieces here i'll cut them off completely including the fold lines on the side so let's do that first including the fold lines okay okay so now i'll just come here cut from where the cutting started from this point now i can turn it place my ruler then cut there okay now let's continue folding this of course need to remove this flap this one we are leaving this it's just this top one that we're going to remove on both sides okay so i'll also remove this fold line here so i'll cut this off then come here remove this fold line so as to free up this flap Okay, and then remove it. That's the fold line. If you can see, it's very tiny. Okay, then I will need this top flap as well. All right, so that is basically all for the cutting. Okay, so now I'm going to be bringing in my envelope punch board to round the corners if you have a corner round but you can use it as well because just around the corner so place this and punch Okay, so there we have we are we are we have our there we are we have our corners well rounded now next thing i'll do is um i i as you all know i use the two inches double-sided tape and then i cut it into the size i want so sorry so uh um this is one inch and but i don't use up to one inch and and i want to use more than half I mean, so now my reason I have an inch, I cut this into into four places, okay? But instead, I cut it into three places, and this is what I have, which is about six eighths of an inch. So now this is the outside part. Remember, this is the flap, okay, that is holding the box together. So I'll just line it up to the side of the uh, the score line, the fold line, and cut off the excess right beside the cardstock fold this over back this is the outside remember okay this is the inside now fold this over back and on the two uh, smaller flaps the lower one i also line it to the edge like that bring this over and cut 
repeat the same thing here. Okay, so there it is. Now, for this flap, this is the one that's going to close it last, okay? As you can see, we do not put any, we are not putting, this one is going to be completely free of double-sided tape. So, I'll just line this up like so. Oh, okay. My tape is not enough. So, I need to cut uh, extra. As I used to do before cutting, this is my, uh, my... My, my cutting would have already put um, uh, lotion, okay? Then just clean the teeth of the scissors so it doesn't stick. So what I'll do is that I'll just cut like 6 eighths of an inch size like that. Yeah. Instead of cutting a whole one and then cutting it because this is basically all I'm using it for. Just this small parts then cut all the excess okay so now I protect my tape just put it back and keep it okay so there we are next thing I will have to crease the double sided tape I just applied okay crease it properly the four of them okay now uh, I've already prepared my PVC sheets okay into you know this size is two from here to here is two and two eighths and from here to here is four and two eighths so I just moved one eighth of an inch from that measurement and I cut two and one eighth by four and one eighth okay for the PVC sheet so I'll just carefully line it up making sure it's in the center like that okay and then holding it firmly where it is then I'll bring my punch and then eyeballing at the center and I punch okay and then I bring my eyelet this is the eyelet I'm using okay so I'll just Put it in and then seal it and press properly. It's quite strong. I'm using both hands. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's it's still free and here is not. I don't know if you can see it. It's not flat. I need it to be flat. I need this inside part to be flat. So I'll do that one more time. Okay, there it is. All right, so now you can see this one is no longer moving like it should. Okay, it's no longer moving. So I'll just carefully adjust it to you. It's straight and well aligned. Okay, so now it can be opened like this and then you take out your tissue. Or if you have time, just carefully move it. Okay, it's still movable. Okay, it's still movable. Like that. All right. So now, next thing is for us to assemble our box. Peel this, and then bring in my PVC glue that I do not want to use anymore, but I just have to use it because I don't want to waste it. It must be used. <laughs> okay. So on this part where there is no tape, I'll just apply a little. You know, it's water base. Okay. So just. A little is fine then fold like this and bring this to meet this score line at the edge inside like so hold it and bring it here all right now I'll just fold it like that so that I can crease properly I have to apply enough pressure because of the PVC glue, okay? It doesn't dry quickly like that. 
and also on the edge the edge part and okay i don't know you can see the pvc glue coming out right okay so let me just blow on it a little okay now i can use my bone folder and just press on the inside again to lie down flat coming from here as well so it's very flat okay all right now let's assemble the base i'll peel this first and then just apply very little pvc very little like that you know peel this as well and then apply my pvc under here where there is no tape just a little all right now this one that doesn't have any flap okay so i'll fold this in fold this in and then bring this that doesn't have anyone over first making sure that the sides line up okay like so okay now i can now fold this over to close it so this is the front it has a well finished front then fold this out of the way and then work on the inside part to bring them down properly like that and there we are done so now let's uh fill it up with with our tissue you see all this nylon thing i'm not really fan of nylon so okay so i'll just bring this out okay this is how it's facing like this also so this it you go in like that so i can lift it up easily you just drop it in like so there perfect fit all right so then just close it this can easily be refilled you know it can easily be refilled and very easy you no know, very cute and portable don't know why this part is not closing properly it will close with time it will close don't, don't worry okay so there it is so i need that lift like this and then take your tissue out okay or you want to move it out of the way to take and then you close it back now you saw what happened the pvc entered inside so of course you have to be careful you just raise it like so to close it back so now this will definitely prevent dust from entering inside because we in nigeria plenty of dust everywhere and this december season the amatan and the dust so thank you and um, see you in the next tutorial